It's woman's world. It's woman's world. I'm a strong woman. I tell my stories in my own way. No challenges can keep me down. Whatever I go through makes me stronger, stronger, wiser. I can't give up now, no way. Education, whether formal, informal, or non-formal, is a way of imparting knowledge, skills, and values to individuals. Education, just like food and shelter, is a basic human right, and nobody should be deprived of education. People have made substance out of the education they have acquired, and so education is not a scam, just like we hear these days from students. I have someone today who have made something out of education and it should be very interesting to hear her story. Welcome to Women's World. My name is Olaomi Oni Riley. We'll be right back after this timeout. It's woman's world. It's woman's world. Welcome, you're still on Women's World and today on the program, I have a very big fish in the house, a mentor, a big sister, and a professor. Please welcome with me, Professor Bidemi Lafiaji Okuneye, the provost of Adenio Gusoya College of Education. Thanks for having us today, ma. Thank you very much. I also want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to host you. Uh, I've had cause to watch you on YouTube. Wow. I've also had cause to watch some of the films that you acted in. Wow. And I think you are doing a very wonderful job. Thank you, ma. Great job you are doing. And I, I hope that it will be, you, you sustain the temple uh, for which you have started. And I pray that the program will not, um, will not go into extinction. Thank you, you very much. You have started well, and I'm sure that it's going to Go from glory to glory. Amen. Thank you very much, ma. And that's why you are here. Because on this segment of the program, we call it interview of the day. We bring women to share their experiences, their life experiences with us in order to inspire girls and women. And so we said, yeah, who are we going to pick? And you know, we just said, yeah, you're going to be the first person to, <laughs> to be featured on this exclusive interview session. I know you have several experiences. Yeah. Yeah. Where do we start from? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know where to start from. Maybe I should start from uh, uh, my very humble beginning. Yeah. If I want to share my story, I would say that um, it's a story of uh, grass to grace. Mm. I started as a young girl in a neighborhood somewhere in Isolo. Mm -hmm. And I had cost to even hawk in that neighborhood. Yeah. You yes, actually hawked? Yeah, I hawked. Red. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Of course, in the neighborhood, there is this, uh, you know, as we're growing up, you have nicknames. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I had nickname of Uni Bread. <laughs> Uni Bread. And so when we get to school, mm. my primary school is not far, it's a trackable distance to my house. Mm. And of course, I have my classmates who are also living in the same neighborhood with me. Mm -hmm. And you know, it can make someone shameful. You can, mm. you can be ashamed. So were you ashamed? Of course! Oh. Of course! I was ashamed. There was nothing to boast of. There mm. was, you know, you can make. Um, the, uh, it's not this era of uh, camera. Of course, mm -hmm. you have video doing. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can't even uh, lie about it. Yeah. Some person will even call you mm. to let you know they I know. saw you. Mm. So when we get to school, only bread, only mm. bread. You know, and you know, then we used to have this um, way by which we said mm. fine bread, <laughs> fine butter bread. You know. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, I did all that in the awesome. neighborhood. But going to secondary school, I had the opportunity of joining uh, a handball team okay. in my school. 
I went to Metropolitan College, Solo. Okay. And the Lagos State uh, government had this program of catching them young okay. in the schools. And the coach that was sent to my school there, Coach Area Wire, we call him Coach Area okay. he came to my school and he discovered some of us as having talent for sports. Mm -hmm. I was selected, and it was that year that I represented Nigeria in Ambo competition wow. in Europe. Wow. In Denmark, Italy. Wow. We were just traveling around the globe. Wow. I'm only bred you. Yearly 12. I'm only bred you. Yeah. Hey. Yearly 12 years wow. old and uh, I I stopped talking. Hmm. That gave me the opportunity to stop talking. Hmm. Though I have younger siblings who still art when hmm. they were in secondary school. Hmm. So I started going from one competition to the to other, another. from one competition to the other until I finished secondary school. But hmm. I remember a particular uh, story hmm. when I was in class five. I hardly attend classes mm -hmm. because of sporting activity. activities. If we are in school this week, the following week will not be in school. Okay. And I was the only one in my school who is representing Nigeria. Wow. I was the only one. And so I was missing classes. There was this English teacher who told me, because I came to class on a Monday morning, yeah. I've been absent previous week, I came to the class on a Monday morning and he asked us to submit our assignments. Mm -hmm. And I was taken aback. Which assignment? <laughs> and he said, Billy King, where is your assignment? I said, no, I'm not aware mm. that you gave assignment. And he told me pointedly, you are not going to pass it. You are going to fail in this language. Wow. Yeah. So when he told me that, it was a negative motivation for me. Mm. I said within myself that I'm going to pass English. Wow. Yeah. I run errands with my elder sister. I live with my elder sister. I run errands. Anytime I run errands, they dash me the change. Mm -hmm. So those change that time. There is this bookshop in that they call that they call mm. when you descend the bridge of this mm -hmm. There is this bookshop, very big bookshop. Yeah. Um, they are regular customer. I buy books there. Mm -mm. So all those change that they give me, go I, easy to buy to books. buy textbooks on English. Wow. SMO Aka. There is no page of SMO Aka that I didn't cram. <laughs> oh, because I was determined just to because pass of that. But because of that statement. Wow. So eventually, it left the school before. Our result was mm. released for uh, school starts, and I had A3. Wow, wow, A3. That's, that's something. And so I, I was very happy that, oh, Mr. Wachiko thought I wouldn't be able to pass, mm. and now I've passed. But I tell you, I didn't even know what course mm. I wanted to study. I didn't even have an, an ambition. Wow. That I want to be this, I want to be that. Mm. At a later time in life, I thought of being a broadcaster. Oh, really? Oh, I want to be in the television. Oh, so I really? started looking for admission. Hmm. Along that line, I bought the form for this school in Moshe Dabiala Polytechnic. Okay. It was Ogun State Polytechnic then. I also bought the form for Lagos State Polytechnic. Hmm. And um, I was not selected. Wow. Of course, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know why because I, of course, we do, I don't have something to give. Hmm. And I wrote jam that year. I remember that I wrote jam once, once in my life. I, wow. I didn't write jam twice. And I didn't make it. So I was still going to a rope park. I was a rope park girl. Mm -hmm. I was still going to a rope park to practice sports. Rope park, the rope park somewhere around there, Alagomechi. Yeah, Alagomechi, yes. in front of casino. Mm -hmm. That's my home. Mm. Whether there is training, whether there is no training, whether I have something to do, I don't have any, I have made that place a home. I leave home in the morning. I will walk from Isolo to, to rope park. park. And I'll walk back. That's quite a distance. But the joy is that I am in a rope park. Hmm. So we were like that, we we're doing that until a coach just came in one day and the coach told us that, oh, there is this form in Lasso. Where is La where Lasso is? I don't hmm. know. Wow. There is this form in Lasso, diploma in PHE. And I said, oh, if it's that, then let's, let's, hmm. let's go. They said PHE. Of course, PHE, I was into sport, but mm -hmm. I never did PHE as a subject in the school. Okay. No, no, no. no. So they, they brought us together, about uh, five or ten of us. They collected from for us, mm -hmm. and then we started. Wow. We started from the diploma class. Uh, it wasn't easy. I wasn't a science student. Mm. PhD is basically science. Wow. Science. Ooh. And I did arts. Wow. I was striving that I must just, because my philosophy, mm -hmm. personal philosophy is anything worth doing at all. It's, it's worth doing. Worth. I was going to ask you that. Yeah. Because it's, it's like you have this, you always have this determination. That's it. Anything I get into, <laughs> you must do it that's well. Lost it. That's lost wow. It. So I came into Lasso, I didn't even know where Okoko Michael was. It was my first time. Where is Okoko Michael? Mm. So I came in, 
we were like uh, 30 something in the class. I uh, oh yeah, was my classmate. Wow. We seated all through in school. We were, we were like 30 something in the diploma class. Wow. And they told us that if you do it well, mm-hmm. you are going to transport into 200 level. That okay. Energy. What that means, I, I couldn't comprehend. <laughs> but I just felt that. I'm this, in it, we should I just do, do it. it well. Yeah. And so we had, um, uh, after two years of diploma, we had the opportunity of being picked mm. to the degree class. We were only about five that were picked. Wow. But I think I was the second wow. for that diploma. If, uh, if we are to be rated mm-hmm. for a second, I think I came second position wow. for the diploma class. We started again, degree class. Mm-hmm. In fact, my matriculation, I didn't. Matriculation, convocation, I didn't do. Wow. Because there was no money to buy gowns, no to rent gowns. To... Where is the money? Wow. That if I have to get home, I will just be, you know, when you scamper for things, mm. you just be looking around. Which one is left? Mm. Uh, granite oil, mm. it takes more. Palm oil, it takes more. Mm. Maggie, you take two cubes. You mm. take three cubes. Like that. Wow. Rice, of course. Rice is a luxury. Mm. You see rice at home. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> it's a big luxury. Mm. And so you want to take. And of course, we wouldn't want to deprive them at all. Others, too. yes. So we just take a little, a little of this. Hmm. And that was how schooling, schooling was tough. Yeah, I can imagine. No, 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 no. Schooling was tough. Hmm. Indeed, it was during my, I think I was in year two or year three, hmm. that I knew the pain of hunger. Hmm. And from that time till now, I don't want to hear people say, I I'm am hungry. hungry. Because if you, you know how to you are hungry, I go crazy. Hmm. Or you tell me I've not eaten since morning. Wow. I go crazy. Mm. Because I have felt the pain of hunger. Mm. I was in my room that day and I was really, really I'm hungry. Yeah. And I went out to ask people, what do you have? What do you have? Mm. People were, I don't have anything. Mm. I don't have anything. My grandmother gave me a, you know that effing, effing safe. Colo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I was just putting little money, the little mm. money there. Anything I have as SS, you I just put, put it there. there. I went back to my room and I just cited that colo and I said, mm. Oh, you are here. <laughs> In annoyance, I just broke it. Wow. Whatever I, I gathered from me, I just went out to buy Pepsi and bread. Hmm. And I had that day. So if you say pants of hunger, me, mm. I felt it too. Hmm. And I said that day that no one yeah. will ever feel hungry. Near me. Near me. No, yeah. no, no, no. It's not a good experience. Hmm. It's not. Hmm. Especially when you don't have hope hmm. that is coming from anywhere. So schooling was tough. tough. There were a lot of stories around. University, that. Ah, university tough. life was, was tough. tough. So let let me fast track this story. Yeah, okay. Please stay with us. We'll be right back after this timeout. It's woman's world. It's woman's world. You're still on Women's World and we're still on the interview of the day. I'm really enjoying myself here. You know, it takes a lot of determination, a lot of um, focus to get to wherever you are. Our guest for today, Professor Bidemi Lafia Jiokuneye, the provost of Adeno Ogusoya College of Education, has been telling us so many stories that has inspired me personally. And I just want to fast track this story. I know you can't wait to hear what she's doing right now so ma <laughs> from from that stage yeah, from university, that stage, university you went for masters yeah university i had the opportunity of uh, graduating as the best student of my class wow so i was retained okay was as, retained a graduate as a graduate assistant okay i started from the lowest rank of the wow uh, so i had the opportunity of uh yes being uh Employed. Wow. I was employed by the department and I started the career. Academy. So it's not, it's not really luck per se, it's hard work. Uh, okay. okay. It's okay. hard yeah. work. Because if you but didn't put determined. your... Yes, you were determined to do it. So now... As like, a, I told, I, like I told you earlier, I, I, don't, I, I didn't have an ambition. Mm, you were just doing it. I was just doing it. And you were enjoying it. Of course. Mm. Of course, I was enjoying so it. So you got uh, appointed as a graduate assistant. assistant. You did your master's. Yes. You did your I PhD. Did my master's in the lab. I did my PhD. In, while I was running my PhD, of course, I was also I was married. Okay. And I was I was uh, uh, how would I say it? Uh, uh, there was uh, 
Uh, and that will delay you. And not 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 quite because I was also determined. Oh wow! I finished my master's ninety nine and I got admission for PhD in year two thousand. You know, most women combining yes, education with ah, that's that's where Mother I'm going to. How did you manage it? And it was also determination. Hmm. I was determined that this I'm going to get. Okay. I started my master's nineteen ninety eight and that was the year I had my first child. Wow! So I was taken out to school. Wow. In uni, like I was taken out to school. There were incidences, mm. but I won't go into that. After the master's, I got admitted for PhD in mm-hmm. year 2000. Okay. I had my second born in 99. <laughs> and uh, while I was running the PhD, I had my third born in 2002. Wow. And I finished PhD in 2005. Wow. And it was a bad one. Mm. And I was going. There, there was just this uh, something that kept pushing me. Okay. That you must go on. I was not relenting. I got the PhD in 2005 and uh, afterwards it was academic, 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 all the way all, you were all busy, through, all through. Mm-hmm. publishing, you know they say if you do not publish, you, you perish. perish, yes, publishing, publishing, just going for conferences, mm. there were conferences that you even go to, they would have finished the conference because you have to go by road, mm. they would have finished the conference, so it wasn't, so, so it wasn't as easy as people think, no, no, not at all, not because at all. you know one seeing you as a professor, yeah. beautiful woman, uh, yeah. uh, uh, she must have had it no, very no, smooth, no, 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 no not at all, Wow. Although it could be that I had a man, Abi, a boyfriend, who was promoting me. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Because that's what they always say of a woman. Of a woman. woman. Any successful Any woman. Successful woman. Mm-hmm. She must have somebody by the side. And that's not true. It, the, that's not, not true. Not very true. All because, of the time, not true. Yes. All of the time, not true. Because they feel that a woman cannot be as successful as that. Hmm. No, that's that's the society. Thank you very much for saying that. Yeah. Because we need people to hear these narratives from yeah. women themselves. You don't have to. You don't have to uh, somebody is bedding you. If you have, if you do that, you do that for fun. Yes. You don't do that because of what you want to gain. Mm-hmm. No, no. I cannot count one, two, three women who can who men actually made them rise to. No, no, no. no. And they can even if they had made them to rise, can they sustain it? Of course, they won't be able to sustain. To sustain it. That's what I'm saying. They because be for to you, to, for for your for your track record and for where you are now. If it were to be a man, you can't of be course. an ad- administrator and be successful. For sure. So that's that's the point that um, we need to make people and understand. And women should, all, should actually, if you take statistics, population of women against men, we are more than them. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, we are not using we are that. the one that drags ourselves. Mm-hmm. We, we drag ourselves down. down. We, we gossip about ourselves. Mm-hmm. I gossip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no person who does not gossip. Mm-hmm. Indeed, men gossip more <laughs> than women. They do. Wow. Men gossip more than women. But our own, we are very emotional about yes, it. Yes. Men will talk about themselves. And forget it. Together. Yes. Mm. Even when they know that we are dating the same girl, mm-hmm. they still get along. Mm. But for us women, mm. if we see our own um, uh, the same girl, gender, uh, uh, a girlfriend friend, or a, a friend. girlfriend of our husband, we go fighting mm. and we'll never fight a woman mm. because of a man. Mm. I won't ever, I have never done it and I won't do it. That's good. Wow, can you hear that? So it's just, I have <laughs> never done it and I won't do it. Mm. Fight a fellow woman because of, of a, a man. man, God forbid. Wow, yes. So let, let, let me ask you as the provost of. A college of education. I know that it's, it's a lot of work, yeah. and you know, I, 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 I don't think it would be much of work for you um, taking cognizance of how you were able to cope while you were <laughs> you were able to balance your um, um, uh, you were able to balance it when you are in the university masters yeah. with marriage and all of that. But tell us sincerely, how have you been able to cope, and what are you doing differently? in this school that you need to put on record? Okay, not much I've been done. The only thing that I have done, and I, I wish to sustain very well, is openness. Okay. Transparency, nothing to hide. Mm. If any union come now and say, you have done this, you have done that, I sit them down, Yeah. I tell them everything, everything they, they need, to, need know. to know. No, I do that a lot. Okay. Sometimes it backfires, mm. but I don't mind. I take it as saying the truth. Okay. So the truth has always been guiding me. Yeah. Sometimes I keep it to my shell. I keep it to my chest until they ask for it. Mm-hmm. But in all of it, I tell the truth. Hmm. Anything. And there is this 
transparency. I don't do a tete a tete. I don't mm -hmm. have a caucus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have a caucus. Everyone, if you come here, I discuss with you like a sister, like a brother. Yeah. That openness has really, has really helped me. Then as a woman, because my predecessor was a woman, oh, really? who was not very active by her nature. Okay. So they saw me as a, a kilo shield in Belgium. Mm. Yeah? Mm. But I, I have to move. If I don't move, you won't see developmental changes around. Mm, mm. I have to move. Yeah. I don't have to sit back and then wait that manner will fall from heaven. I have to go get the manner. You so know, I, 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 I remember that even well when you were in Lasso, you were the Dean of Student Affairs. Yes. Did that have anything to do with what you're doing now? Did it help in any way? Yeah, of course, yes. Okay. There's no experience that is lost on one. No. no. Everything helps. Indeed, that experience has actually helped me in my relationship with the student here. Okay. You see, I use carrot and stick. Mm. I beat you, I draw you near. Yeah. If you err, I will talk to you in a manner that I, sh I will reprimand you. But mm. afterwards, I'll just call you a mon lanier. Why do you have to do that? Mm. I will sit down and talk about it. Mm. And that child will not return back, Go to, that. back to that. Really so it, it has been helping me. Of course, the experience helped me a lot. Okay. Now, for things I'm doing differently, yes, I met a system that I wouldn't say it's, um, it's, um, it's not a very good system. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. But I still have to improve on what I met. Okay. Part of improvement is infrastructure. Okay. You know, very soon we are transmitting to a university. Wow. Before now, there is only one third road in this college. Wow. From this end to that end. That's all. But going around the college now, you see that most of our roads are tarred now. Wow, well, good. Then for infrastructure, yeah, we had donation of building um, from um, National Productivity Center Abuja. Wow. Donated a library building to us. It's completed now. Mm -hmm. It's yet to be used. We also have a tech fund project going on now. Because wow. I'm in sports, mm -hmm. when Tech Fund approached me, I said I want a sports complex. Center. And that they are doing for us. Wow! And it has never been in the school. The, it, it, there was, but it was not um, a, an improved okay sporting, uh, center facility. that you would yeah. want for the yes, modern the, for town. a modern okay. school. So uh, they are working on it now. Wow! And uh, maybe the ultimate is that um, in terms of welfare, I have been able to by 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 the grace of God. Yes, I've been able to touch some individuals mm -hmm. i don't believe before i got here it used to be uh, what can be shared mm -hmm. in terms of monetary mm -hmm. but i don't believe in that mm -hmm. i believe in welfare that goes round round everyone. everybody you need a chair we'll get you a chair mm -hmm. you need a table we we'll get you a table you need a curtain that, and that's what i've been mm -hmm. doing we make sure we touch everyone ultimately they get salaries not a fixed date mm -hmm. sometime if you get to the seventh of another month Sixth of another month, but to the glory of God, since January last year till date, it's been 24th. Wow, it's been 24th. Indeed, this last one was 23rd. Wow, the reason being that 24th was a weekend, there was no movement, mm -hmm. and I thought that I just called my management member that since there will be no movement, let us, let us pay it on the Friday. After all, we're not going to pay it twice. Mm. Let us pay it on the Friday so that anyone who has to go withdraw money mm. will be able to do that on Friday. Get something and stay at home on wow. Saturday. Uh, that's what Saturday. mothers do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank exactly. you. Thank so you very much for. I may, not, I may not be able to recall all, but I know that, okay, again, seminars, workshop, trainings, we'll promotions. Be having, we'll be having comprehensive trainings every for now all and then. Promotion. Yeah, wow. promotion. We have been. We have been have been doing well. Wow, thank you so have to much. Score myself. <laughs> well, we'll score you at the end of the day. Maybe we'll come back and um, ask around what you think about okay. what Provost is doing. I think you need that feedback to keep you yeah. um, on my toes. Yes, on your toes. Yeah, yeah. It's woman's world. It's woman's world. Thank you for staying tuned. You're still on Women's World and We've had um, a very interesting interview session with the Provost of Adenio Musonya College of Education. She has told us about four major things that has kept her going. That is focus, determination, 
resilience and and um, hard work you know so hard work pays and that's what has been keeping us going ma on this um, program we usually have empowerment for women and girls we've heard that um, you you did one scholarship program for students in the college okay so how many students um about 10 students on your own my own personal wow. scholarship scheme wow i do not have a name for it okay yeah i do not have a name for it i just asked them to look for indigenous students mm. and I, I started paying their school fees year one wow. through year three Wow. I'll see them through school. Well, wow, that's that's a good one. Indeed, that thank you card It's wow. from the Christian Associ Student Christian Association. Wow. So they, they were also part of the wow. they were beneficiaries. Yes, that's that's a part that's part of what we are doing. And we also want you to, to sponsor at least some women for our own our Greek and food distribution network. How many people can you sponsor? Uh, we can do five. Wow, wow. We can do five for that. Thank you so much. And in addition, I may want to pick Three students, okay, female of course, who will be given scholarship. Wow, through school. Wow, starting from year one. I usually go wow. for year one. Wow, that's so that when you start from year one, you see them through school. Okay. That's a sense of scholarship. So, this, this three, three, three students must be through this program, yes, yes. yes. So, if you have watched this program and you are a student, a hundred level student, hundred level. In which schools now? Do you have now, a choice? I, I have preference for last one. Okay, so Mr. on the ben bill. Like <laughs> so it's on the bill of the provost of the college, but it must be through Women's World program. So you must have watched this program, and you can send in your name and phone number. Once you are a hundred level student and you are a female indigenous. and you are indigent, send your phone number, your name to all any of our numbers scrolling on the screen right now. Thank you very much. You've been wonderful. I, I, in fact, I don't, I don't want to leave you because I know there are still so many things to talk about. Sure. But time is not our friend. Thank you very much, Ma. We, we really appreciate you. And. Um, in summary, what's your advice for women and girls out there? Okay, yeah. For women, my advice for women, we should be our sister sister's keeper. keeper. We should be one supporting ourselves. We should not be running ourselves we down. Yeah, we should not run ourselves mm -hmm. down. We should, anyone who has gotten to peak should be supported by the women folk. Mm -hmm. If more women support women, mm -hmm. There will be more women in power yeah. than men. So my advice is that we should always give support and not run ourselves down. Thank you very much. And to our girls? Our girls, they should be more focused. Mm -hmm. Every girl should think of empowering herself, mm -hmm. not depending on someone. Yeah. And what I mean by that is that an average girl should have a career. Mm -hmm. The career can be in different fold. It may not be career as in go to office. Mm -hmm. You must be empowered. Mm -hmm. You must take something to the table even yeah. when you are getting married. Mm -hmm. Not just think that the man there will be solely responsible for you. Thank you very much. In the case much. of eventuality, how hmm. do you feed yourself? And thank you. Family. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ma. So, women and girls out there, you've heard it all. We don't need to add anything. You need to be there for yourself. You need to um, be able to be independent you need to stay focused you need to know that we should be together support ourselves in everything that we do we can't thank you enough for staying with us throughout the program we hope to see you same time same station my name is Olaumi Oni Braimo thank you it's woman's world it's woman's world I'm a strong woman I tell my stories in my own way No challenges can keep me down Whatever I go through makes me stronger Stronger, wiser I can't give up now no way. No way.